Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Brendan and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having a great day no matter where you are from because today we just had some major cryptocurrency news get released starting with the chairman of the CFTC saying that Bitcoin could easily double in price. Now we also have major companies like Starbucks launching an NFT based loyalty program and Warner Music Group which is an extremely large one partnering with OpenSea to expand and advance their Web3 efforts. This could likely lead to a new age of music and how we purchase it and how we interact with it. This is a big deal. Now we also have Sam Bankman Freed, the president of FTX or one of the founders of FTX, saying that he is interested in purchasing Twitter uh, after Elon has decided not to go through with it anymore. And there is XRP news all over the place. So I figured we rarely address XRP on this channel, but let's go ahead and talk about what's happening just a little bit so that we can understand why XRP is pumping so much at the moment. So if any of this does sound interesting, along with a bunch of technical analysis, make sure you stick around for the entire length of the video as there will be important information discussed the entire way through. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into this news first, and then we'll get into some of this awesome technical analysis that we have for Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is seeing a little bit of stable price action around $19,000. So this could be a point that Bitcoin wants to hold before it moves up to some new local highs. Now, who is this chairman of the CFTC and what even is the CFTC? Why is it a big deal for all of us? Well, this stands for the Community Futures Trading Commission, uh, which will probably ring a bell for you as it is fairly well known, especially within the United States, a fairly large uh, organization at that. But the guy who runs this is a big deal. Um, what we have is Benham saying that Bitcoin could easily double in price under CFTC regulation, meaning that even if it is under its CFTC regulation, Bitcoin could still double in price. If it's not, I think we all know that Bitcoin could still easily double in price regardless. So there's good news here in saying that whether Bitcoin goes under new regulation or not, it can still double in price here. And the chairman of the CFTC is agreeing to that and saying, hey, there's value in this thing. This thing is undervalued regardless of how we regulate it or not this thing will very likely double in price. And so that's good news from people who are very high up in the world of not only the US government, but you know regulation and things of this nature. So if you were scared about any of this, don't be, because we don't often see the, the chairman of something like the CFTC coming out and making a bold prediction like something could double in price and move up 100%. It's a very rare occasion and that is meaningful and impactful in the least. Now, Starbucks is also planning to launch their NFT based loyalty program. This one came out of left field because pretty much no one saw this coming. There wasn't kind of a precursor. No one knew this. There wasn't a press release. They just kind of hit the ground running and said, hey, we're going to be launching this NFT loyalty program. And the way that this is going to interact is going to be a really cool one, although we don't know everything about it yet. So the idea here is that they will be able to use this loyalty program through their app. Again, how exactly this will be used is not fully aware to us. There was a very short promo video that was released that was just kind of getting hype behind the idea. So I imagine in the coming week or two or in the not so distant future, we will get more information um, revolving around this. I would again, Ideally, I see this interacting with the app or maybe a wallet or something that they design. But the goal here is to use NFTs to reward customers um, for a number of different actions. This could be somebody that is signing up for the first time. This could be someone that is getting referred from a friend, maybe someone who makes a certain amount of purchases or visits 10, 20, 15 different Starbucks. Whatever it is, there's a lot of things that they can do here, but this is a really cool idea and the beginning of a transition of NFTs going to the next level. And you'll see that as a reoccurring theme in this video today. But for a long time on this channel, we've talked about how NFTs have largely just been used for JPEGs and they have the potential for so much more than that. And so with major companies coming in and saying that we see the future potential of NFTs and this is how we're going to implement them, we're seeing it now with loyalty programs and rewards and now also with 
Warner Music Group. So Warner Music Group here is tapping into OpenSea and partnering with OpenSea so that they can advance their Web3 efforts. Now, one of the really cool things that we can do with NFTs is that NFTs are not confined to just being a picture or a video or something like that. We can actually turn pretty much any asset into an NFT and all that's doing is giving it a unique code on the blockchain that represents your ownership rights. So when it comes to creators or musicians that want to have their music as NFTs, we've barely scratched the surface of this and it looks like Warner Music wants to take this to the next level. And what this would do is this would also reward the creators a little bit more. Um, it's no secret that music creators in recent years, especially with the rise of platforms like Spotify and music uh, streaming services have cut off the creator's profits just a little bit. And so what this would do is give power to the people and power to the creators. And this seems to be like it is a win-win scenario for everyone. And by Warner Music taking the first mover's advantage here, they kind of say and set the standard that they are going to be the, the prominent figure, at least for the foreseeable future. Now, maybe this prompts Apple Music or Spotify or iTunes or one of these big players to come in here and say, we want to disrupt this and make our own Web3 music platform. And that could be something as well. So I'm curious to see what kind of, of large bands or large artists come in and partake in this. I'm sure we'll see something from Snoop Dogg because he is a avid NFT and cryptocurrency um, member, we see him get involved with all sorts of things in the metaverse and uh, virtual concerts. So I would not be surprised if we see someone like him or Paris Hilton or, or someone like that try to release uh, music on this platform via NFTs. Now, let's get into some of the more interesting articles of the day. So FTX Sam Bankman freed saying that he was potentially interested in buying Twitter with Elon Musk. Uh, this is kind of an, another one of these ones that is out of left field. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit speechless here uh, because this was so abrupt. Um, him and Elon have extremely different political beliefs. They have pretty different business models. <laughs> There's, I don't really see a lot of similarities between Sam Bankman Freed and Elon Musk, and I'm interested to see how they could collaborate or even how they would battle over this entire subject. It seems like they wanna go in on it together. However, you know, we'll see. This is a test of time. I'm not taking this with any kind of significance. I am taking this with a grain of salt. How it would be cool to see more crypto people get into traditional media and seeing how that could play a role in things like Twitter. However, this is one of those things that I just don't think it's going to happen, at least not for now. Maybe I'm wrong and this goes great. I just feel like Sam Bankman Fried and Elon Musk are two extremely different people with two extremely different uh, views on how they would interact with Twitter. Uh, and we'll kind of leave it at that. But yeah, an interesting one at that. I mean, I think ultimately getting more cryptocurrency people in traditional media like this and getting cryptocurrency a little bit more of a say in traditional media, that could be a good thing because he would know how to regulate it in a pretty healthy way as opposed to maybe the current Twitter regulators that are trying to add cryptocurrency features and maybe integrate NFTs. Uh, I bet you the FTX team would have a better chance at accomplishing this goal than the current Twitter team. But ultimately, time will tell. Elon's talked about how he is interesting and integrating more cryptocurrency into Twitter as well, if he should purchase it. So there's lots of potential here, but just a wild day for news of everything coming out of left field, right field, home base, um, and, the, and the list goes on. So let's talk about XRP because with XRP, and I wanna dive into this price chart too, XRP has seen a lot of news, uh, a lot of positive news. Uh, we don't cover XRP much on this channel, but it looks like their lawsuit is in the closing stages. It's looking decent for XRP. I think it's one of those things that love XRP, hate XRP. Uh, I think we can all agree that when this lawsuit ends and when XRP is eventually relisted in the United States, whether that is tomorrow or five years from now, 
XRP is going to see an increase in price because their fan base is so wild and dedicated. Um, and so with the XRP seemingly having a couple of wins here recently, um, also when it comes to information that's going to be revealed, I believe they just won or, or got the approval of a judge to get some more information presented that was previously prevented or hidden or something like that. And so now they have more information coming to the front of the scene. And the speculation here is that this lawsuit could very well be wrapped up by the end of this year or the beginning of next year. So time will tell. And the reason, if we wanna take a look at the chart, why XRP is moving so much here is because of the speculation. And so it's seen a really, really nice rip so far. Just in the last couple of weeks, it's up you know, almost 50%. And from its high of year, it was up far more than that, almost like 75 to 77%. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's one of those things where when this does get relisted, it's gonna rip. It'll probably see anything from 50, maybe 100%. It wouldn't surprise me, followed by a really, really strong retrace. And if I'm viewing this as anything, I view it as a buy the hype, sell the news event, um, just like I do with most major cryptocurrency uh, events that are highly anticipated in the news. But I also wanna talk about Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the main thing that I think a lot of us care about along with Ethereum and a lot of these mainstream altcoins. But with Bitcoin being right now the leader of the cryptocurrency world, the big thing to understand is that it is still range bound inside of this channel. We've just been going from resistance to support, from resistance back to support. And the idea here is that maybe we wanna move back towards resistance. And if we do this, there is the idea, and I think I mentioned this in the other, uh, in my video the other day, is that maybe we're forming a W formation on Bitcoin. I know this is something that we talked about with um, some of the Crypt Nation members and some of the people that are uh, a part of the community. And if you want to join that, there's a link to that in the description down below. But this could be a potential W forming on Bitcoin, right? Because we go from this initial breakdown, we're in this parallel channel. And if we see a breakout here, I could very likely see a W happening. But I'm sure a lot of you are asking, hey, Brendan, what in the world does a W mean and why does that matter on Bitcoin? Why are we sticking letters on charts here? Well, a W is kind of similar as to the way that an inverse head and shoulders works, which is a reversal formation. And so imagine that the term W stands for win and M stands for uh, maybe massacre. Um, an M is a topping formation and a W is a reversal formation or a bottoming formation. So if we do see a W here, it could very likely be a sign that maybe the bottom is indeed in, uh, which would be a big claim. And I understand that, but this could be one of those things where maybe we move back up here. Maybe that's back to resistance. Maybe that's the 200 day moving average but this could be one of those things that could form a W on the chart. And while right now this is just speculation, it's something to keep your eye on in the long term as it is something that's important. So we're trying to be a little bit more proactive here than reactive and saying, here's what could happen and here's what we are watching out for. And now let's see how it plays out. So with that being said, that is the bulk of the information that I wanted to go over today. I hope all of you did enjoy, and if you did, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. We make content over here just like this one every single week, multiple times a week. And if you want even more access to the content, check out the description in the con or check out the description down below. And over there, we will have a link to Crypt Nation where you can participate in there. I'm one of the analysts over there, so I'm always contributing um, newsletters and live streams and things of that nature. So if you enjoy my content, that's just another place to get plugged in. But again, thank you all for watching and I will see all of you in next week's video.